inside the offices of the Cyber Crime Squad, Commissioner Adeline Champagnat explains with the use of confiscated material how the hackers are able to steal the PIN codes. So they use two methods to get the PIN codes. They use the false keyboard. You see, it's all messed up on the back, it's not real. It records all the numbers you key in. And then there's this sort of template uh, with a hidden camera method which, when placed over the ATM, will film the codes you enter. The suspects remove the strip and the camera in the blink of an eye. The video can roll for hours at a time. And this is what it records. Getting the PIN code is just the first step. The thieves also need all the details of the bank card itself. They build a fake mouth, known as a skimmer. It's a case containing a mini magnetic recorder. This is what will be pirated. Uh, this is where the skimmer system goes. It will provide them with the banking details, which will be on your card's magnetic band. A skimmer, a strip and a fake keyboard is the perfect kit for criminals to clone bank cards forever. Most card fraud is done by Romanians. One of them agrees to talk somewhere in the south of France. Let's call him Jonut. He's been trawling around Europe for eight years, following the instructions from his bosses in Romania. The details that have been hacked through the ATMs will be copied onto Virgin cards. Yonat shows us how it works. Yeah, he's my card. He puts it through his skimmer, which closely resembles those on the cash machines. He now has all our personal details in his computer. The screen will show the cardholder's name. Jerome Pierat. And the 16 card numbers. Plus, the expiry date, it's all that. And this is a card with nothing on it. You see, you take it and pass it through the skimmer. With the magnetic band face, face down. That's it. In just seconds, all our personal information is on that card. Yonut will give the fake cards to his gang who will use them to buy things and withdraw cash. The mobility of the gang makes this network difficult for the police to track down. And the big bosses, ever prudent, stay back home in Romania and rely on gang leaders such as Yonut to carry out their scams. I'm in France for now, but it depends on the big boss. He might decide my gang and I uh, have to go to Italy tomorrow or Great Britain. You never know. He sends us wherever it's best. Today I make around three or four thousand euros a month. I don't want to stop yet. It's got a good future, this job. A good future that could end up in prison for seven years and a 750,000 euro fine. The Romanians didn't get involved with cybercrime by chance. There's a tradition of high quality IT technicians in Romania. With unemployment high, some turn to the mafia for work. Many of the hackers come from the same region and from the town of Craiova, 200 kilometers west of Bucharest, 